Hello everybody, welcome back to Breeze Toys. I am Stephanie Bree and today I'm showing you my Transformers Generation 1 Ironhide. This is one of my favorite toys of all time. Ironhide is my favorite Transformer, bar none. I have other Ironhides. I have other Ironhides on the way. I want a Ironhide collection. You'll see why in a minute. I love this little minivan, it is so cute. When I was a kid, I had a red van it wasn't a minivan, but it was a red van that we drove around in, and I used to think that it was Ironhide. Unfortunately, if you know the dirty little secret about this Generation 1 toy, it has a massive flaw. So it is metal for the most part. This is plastic. The rest is metal, rubber tires, but as you can see, they're beat to shit. I need to get replacements. This thing is old, and it is beat up, and it is in the life. I tried to transform it earlier today and it got stuck. I'm going to force it for the transformation. If it breaks, it breaks and I will get another one down the road. So the camper pops off and first thing we do is we got to transform the robot. Air quotes. So you got to move the arms out right here. This left arm is giving me a fit today, but I'm going to try to see if I can jiggle it loose. There we go. I don't know what it's stuck on but it's sure stuck on something there we go uh stiff as shit there this arm's not so stiff you fold the legs up you fold the head air quotes head up yes that's it that's his head where is it i don't know do you know nobody knows he lost his fucking head this isn't lost this isn't broken this isn't missing it does not have a head. This toy never had a head. They made a Transformer without a fucking head. So the camper part is supposed to turn into a battle thing, battle platform. So you fold this down. You got to lift this. You got to open it, but don't move it all the way. You got to pull this thing out. And then these swivel down, and that's the treads for the tank. And then you fold this down, and then you got a gun inside. I have the gun somewhere. It's in a box of accessories. I don't know where it is. I do not have the missiles. I don't have anything else. I do have the gun. That's all I have. So, there we go. This is very fucking floppy. This, this is a 40-year-old toy, people. 39-year-old toy. It is. It, it needs some... It needs to be replaced. I just need to buy another one. That's all there is to it. But the, the sled opens up, and if you open up the, the battle sled, he can stand right here in it, or he can stand here behind it and use it as a weapon. If you're clever, like I am, there's a trick I'm going to show you that I've never seen anyone else do. Not to say no one else has done it or figured it out, but if you want him to look more like the cartoon, there is a trick. There's a thing you can do that at least makes them look more like the cartoon. Still no fucking head. But this actually has a groove here and here. And he's got a slot right here. This slides up and it actually connects. And there you go. Now you got a bulky badass iron hide. Just missing his head. It's a shit toy. Don't get me wrong. It is, it is not a good toy. It, it's rubbish. But I still love it. Now let's talk articulation. This is a Generation 1 toy, so articulation is a, a bit of a stretch. But can he turn his head? No, because he doesn't have a goddamn head. But he can move his arms, kind of. They go up and down. He has fists that do, do this. They swivel. He can kind of punch. Ugh, he can kind of punch. Can he kick? No, no movement in the legs, but he can bend his feet. This rubber tire is good. This rubber tire is shit. This rubber tire is shot. This rubber tire is the worst. Look at that. It's, it's about had it. This is about the condition it was in when I got it. I didn't pay that much for it. It was like 20 bucks, I think, which is why it's in this shit of a condition. I buy toys that are in loose played with condition because I'm gonna play with them and I don't want to spend 60 bucks on a toy I'm gonna break 
spend 20 bucks on a toy if it breaks i'll spend 20 bucks on another one but let's go ahead and uh, turn him back into camper mode so to reverse the transformation you fold the feet down you lift this up you turn these in and this is tricky you got to kind of move it this way as you move it in at the same time you got to jiggle it and work it in because it's old there we go then you got to slot it in there which is real tricky because it doesn't want to slot in because there's this bump here don't know if you can see that it's getting stuck on the bump you have to push it up to get it around the bump and it's very tricky it doesn't want to go you have to kind of wiggle it a little bit yes i said wiggle it just a little bit da -da -da -da, 90s music and then you put the camper back on and it's a good vehicle it, it, it in vehicle mode it's a solid toy in robot mode might as well be a goddamn gobot